What's up guys, welcome back to the Home Slice. Welcome, welcome. Today we have another small installment of my just exploring of different kinds of strops. Last time I was working out the last details uh, with some new compounds that I got, some higher quality stropping compounds. Veneve 1 Micron Diamond Paste, Veneve 2 Micron CBN Paste, and some 0.1 Micron Gunny Juice. Today, just for fun, we had some decent results that came from using cardboard loaded with Mother's Mag Auto Polish. And so I was wanting to give the harder abrasives and some of these nicer abrasives a little test on cardboard. It's a little more rigid and it yields a little bit less, a little bit flatter than our denim test and it wraps around the edge a little bit less. So I'm not sure. We kind of found in the denim testing that the denim seems to do the big deburring jobs pretty well with soft abrasives. But with the harder abrasives, I seem to sort of hit a floor with the denim around 150 grams best. I also found last time that you can't start kind of in the high 200s and expect to deburr super effectively. So I've used some edge leading strokes on the Spyderco Ultra Fine, and then after I finished the last one, just some minimal edge trailing touch ups to pull that apex back out. And we've got some better numbers. This time the yellow one just registered at 184 best, and the green one just registered at 177, straight off the ultra fine stone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the highest number to the biggest abrasive, so that means yellow to the CBN, two micron CBN. Give each of them 10 strokes, then the green will go to the Veneve one micron next. If one of them gets worse, then I'll reset it quickly on the Spyderco Ultrafine and retest it. If not, I will take both of them to the 0.1 micron gunny juice and see if we can get the number even better. In my last test, I found that the gunny juice was perhaps not the best for the big deburring work, and that makes sense, being that it's 0.1 micron. It's a little bit, seems to be a little bit better for refining work, so we'll try to keep it in its scope of why it was made today. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, here we go, voice over. This is the 2 micron CBN stropping paste on cardboard. Here's some numbers to give you a visual on the initial sharpness of these knives. And right here at the beginning, I have to make an apology because I positioned the camera where it was just out of reach. Now, if you're a purist who has to see everything, I totally understand and you can discard this test. For me, this is a casual test where I'm working through some materials. So if you're willing to trust me on the data, I will give you numbers on that until I adjust the camera back down. Now that said, the 2 micron paste was quite good, yielding a result of 107. This 1 micron, less of a good result, but fairly consistent with the results I've seen from Diamond on flexible substrates so far. If you've been following along in this series, a bit of a ceiling that you hit, or I should say more accurately, a ceiling that I have hit in using soft steels and flexible straps with diamond abrasives. I seem to struggle to push past the 150 gram mark on the best machine and remove whatever that is, the foil burr, wire edge, or rounding, whatever the cause may be. We've adjusted the camera here so you proof lovers can see what's going on. And on our second strop, we've got 168. So the 0.1 micron gunny juice actually took this one up a little bit. And on the yellow knife, which was at 107, we've come up to 128 grams. Okay, so on both counts, the 0.1 micron gunny juice made the numbers slightly worse. On this one, it went from 107 to 128. I hope you could see the 107. I'm not sure I may have set up the camera poorly. And on the green knife, it went from 158 to 168. So I'm not sure exactly what to make of that. Maybe if you go too many strokes on a cardboard strop, you're at risk of raising a foil burr. And 20 strokes on each side is maybe too much diamond 
to put an edge through. I'm not sure, but I'm going to touch these up on the hanging kangaroo strop to see if we can confirm whether or not that is a burr. Because if it's a little, if it's a burr, it should be a real small one, and we may be able to take it off. So, hold on just a second. All right, let's see where we're at. Now, I was gonna add to this video some chromium oxide. I just mixed up some pure chromium oxide paste, but I didn't realize that chromium oxide paste actually has to dry for a full day before it's ready to go. 95. All right. That's pretty good. I think we can fairly well confirm that that was a small little foil burr that um, using the 20 strokes uh, of, of diamond compound on cardboard, I think raises a small foil burr, which was just removed by the hanging kangaroo strop. And now we are sitting freehand under 100 bess on a 56 Rockwell Victorinox knife. That's not bad, right? Get used to that. Let's see how this one did. This one was all the way up at 168. So what, what did the kangaroo do here? Let's find out. Anyway, I'll be back soon with a video with some chromium oxide compounds on all of these different stropping substrates to see how that stuff does. It's recommended by Vadim Krychuk of Knife Grinders. 125. Not bad, kangaroo. Let's write those down. Um, so I'll be very interested to see what the results are like. It should be another compound that's a bit softer but um, I've, I've been told that you can actually mix other compounds in with it and make sort of a hybrid. And so I'm very interested to see how that goes. The winners of this testing, the things that do best, will end up going on two flat KME cowhide strops that I just got to, get, to have some flat leather that's better than this nonsense I usually use. And I got one piece of nano cloth. So whatever I find is the best setup, we're gonna be loading it onto some real strops. And that will be really fun. I should mention, as far as strops go, that something that I'm realizing is that other than the mother's mag, which is something of a paste, generally, I get my favorite results in these softer or less expensive or cheaper more ghetto sort of stropping materials, cardboard, denim, etc. Even leather, to some extent, I would say, I like the results of oil-based, like things that go on like an oil, better than sort of wax or cream-based compounds. So this CBN is awesome. It's got this oil stuff in it that it's kind of like a cream, but as you put it on, it melts with the heat of your finger. And that returned so much of a better result than these waxy ones. Uh, the Gunny Juice, I think, will return good results. It's an excellent product. I'm just un unversed with it. I think I probably put too much of it on. I think you barely need any. Um, and I think it's really formulated for like stiff leather because it's a very like professional level product and I'm using it on non-professional materials. So anyway, I should say that real quick. This is not a reflection on the quality of Veneve or Gunny Juice. This is just one step of narrowing down which substrates, which things to put stropping stuff on work best with which kinds. And something that I'm finding is I like the liquid or oil-based generally stropping compounds better, especially in these harder compounds 
than the creamy, waxy ones, other than Mother's Mag. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my last denim stropping video, I will put it on screen now. Otherwise, I hope all of y'all have a great day, and I will say peace out from the home slice. Thanks for tuning in.